Right, so I'm Caleb Fox. I'm the head of esports for Wargaming America. Let's start by talking a little about your background. I'm assuming you come from the esports community. Uh, somewhat. I more so come from the World of Tanks community. I did back in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. I played StarCraft a lot, did a lot of Halo, stuff like that. Uh, I was also a big chess player, actually, ironically. And then I got, got into World of Tanks more recently. A friend introduced it to me. And I got really involved with the community there. And so that's where I was hired from. You know, there was recently a big event in Moscow with War, World of Tanks. Talk a little about that. So we had Ural Steel. Um, we had it last year as well. It's kind of like a international grand final, so to speak, in a lot of ways. We bring all the servers together. The top four teams from each server comes out and face off against each other for a $77,000 cash prize. So we're here at New York Comic Con and there's actually people playing World of Tanks here. What are they playing for? So they're playing for a chance to go to the Grand Finals in Shanghai in about a month from now where they'll face teams from all over the world to determine who's the best at World of Tanks. Is this the first time you guys are expanding into the uh, WCG? That's correct. Yeah, this is our first year with WCG. We've seen in esports a huge following for League of Legends and we've seen a huge following for StarCraft 2. Where do you see World of Tanks fitting into the pro gaming circuit? You know, I, I feel like from a, at least from a visual perspective, we are very much in between the two. We're both a strategy and a kind of an RPG slash shooter. Uh, so there's a lot of depth there, but you also have the simplicity of a shooter where you can tell, you know, if an enemy dies, it's easy to tell. You don't have to know a lot about the game to understand what's good and what's bad, but there's a lot of depth that goes into the high level of gameplay. So I think we're, we already have, we've seen a great following uh, with World of Tanks already, and we just expect that to grow from here out. Are there things that you guys are doing to tweak the game specifically to make it a more enhanced esports competitive type experience? Most of the things we're tweaking are just on the uh, observer side, so like creating a better observer client, something that we can use to watch the game better. But as far as actually tweaking the gameplay, we really haven't needed to. It's, it's, so, it's really pretty easy to, to deal with from a com competitive side. Works really well on the competitive side. So we're obviously we're in the U.S. right now for New York Comic Con, but what role do you see competitions in the U.S. playing next year as you guys expand? So next year, I can't talk a whole lot about it yet, but we're definitely looking to branch out a lot more. Uh, probably do some things more along the esports line that you're used to seeing here in the in North America. So definitely expect some very major things from us uh, starting next year, probably the first of next year, and even coming up in about a month or two here, some major tournaments going down. Now we've seen uh, with games like StarCraft II and League of Legends, them split up between established leagues like MLG and Intel Extreme Masters, but then also go up and do their own things. Is that is that a similar business model that you would say you guys might follow? We probably will. I mean, personally, I'm open to anything. Whatever works the best is what we'll end up doing. So we're probably going to experiment with everything and then see what works best for us. I believe there's over 35 million people now playing World of Tanks. So, yeah, we just hit 40 million registered users. So for, for that size, a large size of an audience, how do you see that impacting the quality and caliber of esports for World of Tanks? I think, I think it's great. I mean, the more people you have, the more competitive it's really going to be able to be, the more uh, fine-tuned, so to speak, the high level of play is going to be, because you have such a, a, so much larger a pool to draw people from. So I think it, we're really hoping to kick it up a notch with eSports, uh, bring it to a different level than it has been, at least here in, in America and probably in Europe as well. You guys also have World of Warplanes and World of Battleships that are going to be coming down the pipe. Are those also potential that you see from the esports perspective? Definitely, yeah. We're definitely looking, already experimenting a little bit with World of Warplanes, as it's on the you know the horizon here, trying to feel that out. And then World of Warships, when it comes out, for sure, we'll be doing esports with that as well.